Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for uh, May 31st to June 6th. Welcome to the first week of June. <laughs> My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Uh, you guys can also follow me on Instagram. I do post um, quite frequently over there. So I post different readings than I do here. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, the link for that is down below. So we have patience for you guys, and we have journey. Bottom of the deck, we have fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra. So for some of you, there's a new, a new path possibly that you're taking or a new path that you're moving down this week. Um, there could be a new opportunity presenting itself to you, but you need to maybe be a little bit patient or maybe you've already been patient. You've been already been already been waiting for this opportunity um i feel like it's because you're ready you're ready for it with this fourth chakra you're open to receive it so let's see what's going on for you aries what is happening for aries this week what is happening we have the wheel of fortune the five of pentacles we have death. We have the page of pentacles. Let me move these up. So we have the page of pentacles. We have judgment. We have king of wands. We have the devil. The strength. I love to see that. And the eight of pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the tower. All right. Big changes coming in here. Um, you could be ending something with a water sign is what I want to say. Um, you could be leaving behind something. I feel like um, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Pentacles, and the Death card here in the recent past, it's like you're leaving something behind. You're creating changes. You're moving forward. Some of you are ending a cycle that you've been in that hasn't been serving you with the Five of Pentacles. It hasn't been giving you any reward um, for your efforts. Um, I do feel like a lot of you are making a judgment call or um, walking a new path, like moving forward. Some of you, it's something new. You have maybe having to learn about it. Could be a new person. Could be an earth sign for some of you. Um, we have the page of pentacles. We have judgment. And we have the king of wands. There's something here with this page of pentacles and the judgment that you're needing to make a decision on. Um, some of you, like I said, you're learning something. Some of you, it could be, there could be a Capricorn coming into your life or someone who has Capricorn in their chart. I feel like you're ending something though with a water sign or you have ended something with a water sign. And then we have the devil. We have the strength and the eight of pentacles in the near future. And so the reason I like this is because a strength card is one of the cards that can overcome the devil energy. So nothing's holding you back from what you're working towards. You're definitely putting in effort here. Some of you have really... Um, You've gone, th you've been working through a transformation here for sure. You've been working through big changes and I feel like you're ready for this new stage of your life. So let's see. What's this death card here in the recent past for Aries? What's the death card here in the recent past for Aries? We have the Ace of Cups, the Lovers, and the World. They all kind of came out in reverse, which tells me this is something that you've definitely been in a cycle with, but it's like you're finally done. Possibly a love connection. Like I said, it could be with a water sign with the uh, Ace of Cups here. It's like you're finally moving forward. Um, I feel like possibly in the past, it's always been like left open or open-ended. This could be somebody who's ghosted you in the past. Maybe it's just like you guys stopped talking. It's like you're finally done. You're finally moving forward. What's this page of pentacles here? In the current energy for Aries. What's this page of pentacles here? The sun, the page of wands, and the knight of wands. So there definitely is a new opportunity that's being presented to you here. Again, it can be an earth sign possibly, but this is a lot of fire. There's earth and, and Leo here. I feel like this king of wands is you 
you can just be embodying a little bit of that like Leo energy. You might have Leo or Capricorn in your chart. Um, but you've been putting in a lot of energy and effort. Again, you're starting fresh though with the Ten of Wands at the bottom. I feel like there's communication, but also like movement as well. I feel like you really are going to enjoy this opportunity or you really like this opportunity that's coming in here. What's the judgment card here for? Clarified judgment in the center of the reading here. Temperance and the Three of Cups. And we have the Hierophant. A lot of you have learned a lesson. You've learned a lesson. Again, there's that patience, right? You've been very patient with yourself and others in this situation, but you you know you need to move forward. Some of you are like also setting an example for other people. You could be showing people how they can improve their situation. Like you could be teaching people about something. This new opportunity could involve teaching. Maybe people younger than you or less experienced than you. Yeah, we have the Hierophant again that came out. So some of you are teaching a group of people or you could be... Um, you know what it is, I feel. Or you have the expertise or the knowledge. I'm getting like, you're the expert in order to lead a group of people. So kind of what I'm getting is like, you guys are leaving a, a, a relationship behind or a situation behind, possibly that involved a water sign. Um, and now you're moving forward in something. There's a project I feel like it is more so. Some of you, it could be a commitment. Some of you though are just like leaving a commitment. What is this devil here for in the near future? We have the queen of cups. Yeah, th so there's that, that water sign from the past. Give me one more on this devil here. Yeah, six of cups in the reverse, which tells me you're not going back. You see it for what it is. You see that it's toxic. You see that it was something that held you back, which is why I feel like you're starting to overcome. You're really working on yourself. Clarify the strength. Yeah, magician, knight of pentacles. A lot of you are moving forward in a, a career or a, a job or something like that. Um, some of you could just be learning. Some of you are being taught. It could be a class you're taking. Um, but I, ultimately, you guys are creating a new reality for yourself with the magician here because you're you're overcoming what's been holding you back. What's the Eight of Pentacles here for Aries? Yeah, the King of Wands. You guys are hard at work. Four of Pentacles. There's something you're trying to achieve, like a goal that you're trying to achieve. I feel like it's helping you kind of get over with the five of cups, six of pentacles. It's helping you try to kind of get over this thing from the past. It's like you're you're um, give, putting your energy in different places to kind of help you move forward. Yeah, you've been kind of stuck. But I feel like this like opportunity or whatever it is that you're doing is kind of like helping you move forward here. It's actually helping you like kind of clear your mind, I want to say, or just even process the emotions. I feel like you guys are moving forward regardless. I just feel like you're trying to get over something, but there's also something you're working on or that you're learning, you're learning or teaching other people uh, that's like your purpose in life. So maybe you're taking a class or you're teaching a class. We have temperance that came out in reverse. We have the two of wands is for your advice and we have the ace of wands and the knight of wands again a lot of you are trying to move forward to something new it's this temperance four of wands some of you um it's like you need to yeah kind of gain some stability back after an ending so that you can move forward here again it's this relationship this relationship with this water sign that has ended and i keep saying water sign they don't have to be a water sign but um there's just a lot of water energy that keeps showing up with this past energy so it could have even just been really emotional for you. I feel like it's kind of knocked you off balance. I feel like whatever you're actually going to move towards, this new thing that you're kind of moving towards, I feel is actually helping you recalibrate yourself with the temperance because the temperance is in the upright here. So it kind of like puts you back on, back on track here. Anything else? Yeah. Two of Pentacles, balance. 
two of swords. Some of you are just like not, there might be a choice, but some of you are just not open to people right now, like relationship wise. I feel like you're kind of foc focused on yourself. You're trying to gain some clarity here. Eight of swords, queen of swords. Mentally, you're not, you're not clear enough to kind of like move towards people. I feel like you just want to kind of stay single right now. Aries. But there's definitely something you feel really passionate about that you're moving towards. And I feel like it's actually bringing a lot of enjoyment into your life. You're really going to enjoy it. So that sounds good. <laughs> uh, so that is what I have for you, Aries, for this week. Hopefully that resonates for you guys. If not, you can check out your other signs. Um, but I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.